Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom, but first we have dining reservations for Steakhouse 71. I've never had breakfast here before, and I've seen on the menu they have Walt Disney's prime rib hash here, and I was so excited to come out and try it. And then we're gonna head on over to the Magic Kingdom, ride some rides, and enjoy a brisk morning. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is 8 a.m. here at Disney's Contemporary Resort, and it is 50 degrees out. I've really been loving the weather in the month of November, and December is just two days away, so it's only gonna get colder out, and I love it. I love a cold Magic Kingdom day. I honestly probably should have wore a coat today, but I got this Sleepy Hollow shirt from Park Candy, and I really, really like it. I know it's not the Halloween uh, season, but I really, really like this shirt a lot. Isn't it very fancy? I'm excited to continue our food adventure where we go around eating all of Walt Disney's family recipes. And that's what we're going to be doing here today at Steakhouse 71 with Walt Disney's Prime Rib Hash. If you're not sure what Steakhouse 71 is, it's the restaurant that replaced the Wave here at Disney's Contemporary Resort for the 50th anniversary. And it is packed loaded with all of this amazing Walt Disney history and I absolutely love it. Now, I was a big fan of the wave but I really love the decor and the history all over the walls inside Steakhouse 71. And here we are. I'm going to show you some of the cool photos on the wall here. This is Walt right here when he was pitching the Florida project. It's just so amazing and one of my favorite photos uh, is this one right down here. This is opening day of Walt Disney World. And on the 50th anniversary itself, uh, a couple of the cast members that were in this photo actually came and recreated this photo. And I was lucky enough to be there. And it was probably one of the coolest things I've ever got to participate in. And I love it. Now we're at our table. We'll take a look at the menu and figure out what we're getting. I mean, I'm, I have a pretty good idea what I'm getting, but I still want to show off the menu. Here is a look at the menu, and like I said, they have Walt's Prime Rib Hash, which I'm definitely going to get, but something else that caught my eye was the Steakhouse 71 Seasonal Pancakes. They used to have sweet potato pancakes here at the Wave, and they were honestly one of the best pancakes I've ever had. And right now, for the seasonal offering, they have pumpkin spice pancakes. So I really can't say no to that, so we might be double doing it here today. <laughs> Along with Walt Disney's uh, prime rib hash and the pumpkin pancakes, I'm joined up with some friends and we got some mimosas. Cheers to Walt. <laughs> They do actually have endless mimosas here again. We just got one for today, but it would be fun to come out and try, you know, the refillable mimosas. I wanted to get the pog juice one, but I don't think they have that in general. They have orange uh, gavi juice, uh, like a mixture, but I'm pretty sure these are just regular orange mimosas, orange juice mimosas. They're pretty light though, not much juice in there. And here is the main event. Take a look at this. I got the pancakes right here. This is a espresso syrup, which I am so excited to try. Cream cheese icing on the side. Comes with, I think, candied pecans, maybe? I'm not too sure. And those are pumpkin pancakes. And then Walt's prime rib hash. I wanted to get it with a fried egg, but he said it comes up sunny up. So, gotta go. Yeah, the way, the, yeah, this is the way Walt would have wanted it. So, <laughs> we decided to stick with the plan and go with just the way it is. And uh, I guess now we're gonna dive in. I mean, I don't know where to start. I mean, maybe, ah, uh, pancakes. The sweet potato pancake that used to be here at the Wave used to have like a pecan butter that was so, so good. So I'm interested to see what the cream cheese icing's like, but the espresso syrup is probably the most anticipated thing for me. I don't know why, I've never even heard of it, and I've never had it before, but I love espresso and I love syrup, so like, perfect combination. I think we're gonna do the cream cheese first, and then we're gonna actually uh, put the uh, espresso syrup on there. Look at that. Oh. That did not come out graceful as I thought. <laughs> not, so, yeah, not so graceful. The espresso syrup though, that's going to be a little bit different here. Okay, that's, that's much too good. That is the way. 
we're gonna try to get a little bite. It's also a little strange that the pancakes are silver dollar pancakes. They're not like full, full pancakes. And I think this was $19. Might be good though. I mean, they do have a reputation for some very good pancakes. I got a little bit of everything in one bite. Got some nuts, I got some cream cheese, some espresso syrup. And now it's time to try the pancakes. Okay, those are good. <laughs> now it's time to dive into Walt's prime rib hash. I really do love the pancakes. They are very, very good. Not as good as the sweet potato pancakes, but they are seasonal, so maybe the sweet potato pancakes will be back. I don't know. But this is what I came here for. That was just a bonus, and I'm excited. Look at that. Nice chunks of uh, prime rib, potatoes, peppers, onions. I don't know what this white stuff is in here because I don't think they listed anything on the menu for that. But uh, I'm interested to try it. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. Much like the dinner service here at Steakhouse 71, I noticed that the portions are actually small. The prices are usually like matched up with it, but I don't feel like that way with this. I mean, they're still smaller portions, but like, for instance, they have a steak and egg breakfast, but it's a four ounce filet. And I think when I did the dining review here for the steaks, they were all like much smaller, but under $30, which is a good price for a steak. So uh, I can still see like the portions are smaller actually for breakfast as well. We're gonna dive in, We're gonna break the yolk. Oh, oopsie. <laughs> That's the way, get a little bit of that all in there. Grab some this, grab a nice little chunk of prime rib there, all together. We asked and the white stuff is a lemon aioli, which <laughs> is funny because uh, my friend, she doesn't like mayonnaise. So she's been mayonnaise and <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I guess I'll, I'll try it. I mean, I'm not a big fan of mayo. Uh, mayo. I'm not a big fan of mayo either, but I mean, we'll see how it goes. You never know. I might like it. Eh, mayo. <laughs> this is very, very good. I do like it. I don't mind the lemon aioli that much because I, there wasn't a lot in there, but actually getting everything all together as the yolk runs down it that is the way right there like look at that get a little egg up on there flop it over there we go much too good Sean's gonna try the chicken sausage here Like a chicken nugget sausage. A chicken nugget sausage. That's what it tastes like. We should show you at the bar. A little ketchup. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm definitely bouncing back to the pancakes here because these are so, so good. And the espresso syrup is probably what I like the most, really. So I'm going to get a lot of that. And then I'm going to try a little of the sausage, too. Honestly, I think I like the pancakes better than Walt's hash. I'm sorry, Walt. But I do have to say the roast beef hash over at the Hollywood Brown Derby is way better than the Walt Disney uh, prime rib hash here at Steakhouse 71. But the pancakes, they came in for a win. I think I know a way how to make the hash a little bit better. A little syrup on the potatoes. Anybody else do this? I love syrup on my potatoes. So, so good. And I bet you it's gonna add the extra special touch there. Especially with the eggs and everything all together. Oh yeah, I have a good idea. This is a this is a good idea. We're gonna mix it all together. Okay, that's good. Yep, I like it. Now we are done and I feel kind of full. <laughs> It's funny because I don't have breakfast like that often. I don't get to come out to the resorts. I have to wake up extra early to come out for breakfast. You know, I like to have my quality time in the morning with my coffee and Gracie, go for a nice little walk. So it was good to actually come out and have breakfast. It was very delicious. On the way out though, I do want to point out my favorite picture inside Steakhouse 71. And it's the People Mover right here. And it's kind of like all of Tomorrowland. The People Mover, Space Mountain, then they actually have the old Skyway up here too. So that is really cool. It's one of my favorite pictures ever. Like if they sold like prints of that, I probably would buy it. 
since we just had breakfast at Steakhouse 71, we can actually walk right over to the Magic Kingdom from here, and it's actually very quick and a lot faster if you're uh, parked at TTC. And before we go, I think we're gonna actually grab a coffee for the walk, because they have a Joffrey stand right here at the lobby, the Contemporary. One of the things I've always wanted to do was the latte art here. I don't know if they do personalization, but you can get a Mickey or Minnie on your coffee and it only costs an additional 50 cents. But also take a look at all the cool bakery items they have. A spinach croissant, almond croissant, a vanilla cocoa latte chip muffin, and a ham and cheese croissant. I also love the name of this Joffrey location. Contemporary Grounds. Very clever. And also they have some nice coffee artwork above Donald's hats right there. <laughs> I decided to try one of the holiday drinks and I got the peppermint mocha. I wish they had the pumpkin game changer. That was amazing for the Halloween season. And I feel like pumpkin could be a Christmas like dessert. Like pumpkin pie I feel like is served at Christmas as well. Or maybe that's just leftovers. But we're gonna try the peppermint mocha here. Oh, it's good. It's a peppermint mocha. Wow, everything got white right there. And now we have made it to the Magic Kingdom. Honestly, it was such a quick walk. I love walking over from the Contemporary. And oh wow, you can hear the Christmas music. I say that every time because it just gets me excited. It gives me like the warm, bubbly feeling when you're first walking to the Magic Kingdom. There's something about being at the Magic Kingdom in the morning that it just feels different. Like, I don't know why. The calmness in the air, the quietness, the music. I'm not, I, I can't really put a finger on it, but it does feel different being here in the morning compared to the afternoon. It seems so calm and relaxed right now. I feel like when you get here at like two o'clock or three o'clock, it's very hustle bustle busy. Normally, when you get to the Magic Kingdom, you start thinking things like, what ride do I want to ride first? Or what food do I want to eat? But today, like I said, I'm hanging out with some friends and my friends actually make a lot of TikToks. And I don't make a lot of TikToks, I do make some, but I think we're gonna actually uh, make a TikTok first. I mean, I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> This is us actually getting all ready and set up for our TikTok. And of course we're using a garbage can. I feel like it's a proper thing. No other way to do it. No other way. And I'll put a link for uh, all the, our TikToks in the description so you guys can check it out. But I'm excited, I'm gonna, I'm gonna partake. I'm gonna partake in the TikTok. We're not succeeding, but we're gonna Yes. Sean, you get on the bottom curb. Yes. <laughs> You have to split up. Oh my god, I'm taller than you. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a three second timer. Hopefully, we can hear it. What? Am I a Nicky fan? Are you a Nicky fan? What? Am I a Nicky fan? Oh, I can't just really long. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that did not work. <laughs> I'm gonna come like in the frame. Like, what about if we did it on like this side right here? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We might have to step off the curb. We could do that, it's gonna be higher too. Let's see. Oh yeah. yeah. That's good, okay, ready? That's good. Three second countdown coming up. Are you a Nikki fan? What? what? Am I a Nikki fan? Am I a Nikki fan? I messed that up, sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was me. What? Are you a Nikki fan? What? Am I a Nikki fan? Am I a Nikki fan? Pull up sucks to the Sri Lanka. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh oh, looks like a parade is coming, so we had to postpone for the moment. The most magical place on earth. Answer the call. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm waking my way through Adventureland, I stopped over and I wanted to see the 50th anniversary Ray-Bans and look at these little ditties here. These are so awesome. They come with little hidden Mickeys on the lens itself. I don't know if you can see it there. And I love them. Come with a nice little box set. The box set is $330, I believe. And look at the pin that it comes with. And then you can also buy the glasses themselves for $266. Let me know, what do you guys think? I think they're limited edition to 2,000. 
Oh, it's pretty fancy. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they are very nice glasses. And then you can also get any of the other Mickey Ray-Bans here too. They're all very nice. Now I think we're gonna mosey on over to Tomorrowland. Maybe take a spin on the People Mover. I feel like it's an appropriate day for that. And just kind of relax and enjoy the morning. Like I said, I just really happy to be here bright and early. Looks like the line, looks like the line is starting outside here. One thing I've noticed though, I feel like the People Mover runs very, very quick. Over on the other side, there's almost nobody on the Astro Orbiter. So it'd be cool to bounce from the People Mover to the Astro Orbiter if we could. Yeah, there's hardly any line over there. There she is. The big, beautiful castle. I love catching this view. And then it's gone. <laughs> wow, and look at Tron really coming to town. Do you see the train track? You see that? There's the train track right there. That was so awesome to see the track for the railroad. I cannot wait for the Walt Disney World Railroad to reopen. I'm almost as excited to see that reopen as to see Tron reopen. Because I really loved riding the railroad because it was just a good way to relax and just go around the park and just enjoy. And I'll be pumped when it gets back. Take a look at Space Mountain. It looks like the wait time is 50 minutes. It doesn't look 50 minutes. It actually looks less than 50. Oh wait, that's the lightning lane line. Holy moly. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Monsters Incorporated. So drop in and join Mike Wazowski and all his pals at Monsters Incorporated Laughboard. Now we got to ride People Mover. I think we're going to move along. Maybe head over to Fantasyland. I feel like I just recently did this route. Like I kind of came and did this route recently for a video, but it's kind of the things I would normally do if I came to the Magic Kingdom. I mean, I kind of just like relaxing. It's one of my favorite things to do. The People Mover's a nice relaxing moving ride. Dumbo's nice. The teacup, it could be a relaxing ride. It's how you actually, you know, make that ride. You don't spin. Sometimes you can just sit there and you can just go round and round and enjoy a nice tea party. Even though it's been quite a while since the 50th anniversary here at Walt Disney World, I'm still finding all of these 50th anniversary treats that I haven't tried yet. And down by Dumbo, they actually have a Dumbo churro. And it's like a peanut peanut butter dusted churro. And I figured, why not? I mean, I would like to like, try all the 50th anniversary treats. And sometimes I'm just discovering new ones. There were so many that they put out. So we're gonna try a Dumbo by Dumbo. Right there it is, the Dumbo Churro. And they also have the Jumbo Surprise, which is a blend of popcorn and Twix and candy pieces. But today, we're all about the Dumbo Churro. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to churros. Dunk. Got a dunk. There we go. A little peanut, oh no, yeah, peanut butter and chocolate sauce. <laughs> I'm eating a Dumbo Churro in front of Dumbo. <laughs> Mm. Honestly, it tastes just like a regular churro. Not much peanut butter, but I don't know if I would want a lot of peanut butter because I feel like churros can be very dry anyway. So adding peanut butter, having like a dry, dusty churro. Actually, right now I'm kind of thinking it's really hard to swallow. Yeah, <laughs> it's really hard to swallow. <laughs> Now that the Dumbo business is taken care of, I think we're gonna ride the teacups. Like I said before, it's really fun because it's a ride where you kind of control how you want it. You know what I mean? You can go crazy and go all in and spin, or you can just do a nice casual teacup tea party ride. It all depends on you. So let me know, let me know in the comments what kind of person you are. We can see if we can spot the people that go all in on the spins and the people that just do casual rides. And oh! There's the all-inners, there they go. But here's a nice casual couple there. <laughs> Pick a teacup, any teacup. Which one we got? Get it, hurry up. That's the one, that's the one Marv, the silver tuna. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a little tight, but we got this, right? Three adults in a teacup? So I'm actually a crazy Somebody's spin. a mad hatter! He's a mad hatter! Got too much spinning! Too much! Too much! <laughs> no! I didn't sign up for this! Stop it! Stop it. <laughs> 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 
Oh my lord. Wait, I thought the ride stopped. <laughs> no. The ride didn't even, we're still going. I just stopped spinning us. We're still going. All right. Oh my lord. Too much. Look at you, look crazed. There's something in your eyes. Call the bad hat or the How are we getting out of here? I don't know. One at a time. How One at a time. How do we get out? <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. I am a slow and steady teacup spinner. I don't like going too crazy. But Sean, he just went off the wreck. He, he went mad. He started going crazy, but it was fun. I mean, it was a lot of fun, but holy moly, I got the spins. I really did. Now we made our way up behind the castle, and I think we're actually gonna take a stroll through the castle. Just go right through the castle and down Main Street. There he is, the Mad T, the Mad Hatter. There he goes. <laughs> it's definitely got a lot more crowded since we were here early in the morning. It's been a couple of hours, and actually I think it's two o'clock, so the park hopping has started. And you can see a lot more people like centered around the hub area. Right now, Tinkerbell is making her way through, but there wasn't this many people when they had the first rounds of cavalcades when we got here this morning, but definitely a lot more people now. Now I think I'm gonna head on into the Emporium and see if they have any new uh, merchandise, anything new for the holidays. My friend is looking for a Captain America Christmas sweater, which I honestly don't know what it is, but I'd like to see. Look at all of this holiday Marvel merchandise. Spider-Man hanging from Christmas lights, and then you got Santa Groot with little Santa hat, and then here is Captain America's Christmas sweater. That is so nice, little candy cane hanging out of the pocket. It's not like a spirit jersey uh, like material, but it's more of like a sweater material. But I think it's really, really nice. I don't know if anything's on the back. Nope. And it's not too bad. I think it's $59.99. I don't know. I don't think I could wear it with that material, though. You see, you can just see how itchy it is from here. And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a fun little day. We started off having breakfast at Steakhouse 71, a little bit of Walt's prime rib hash, which was really good, but I feel like the pancakes stole the show. Like they were actually very, very delicious. Then we got to come over to the Magic Kingdom, hang out, ride some rides, make some TikToks, and just enjoy a nice little morning. And we're gonna head home now, and uh, it's not even like, it's like three o'clock, it's not even like, late in the evening so it's really awesome to like come out and just enjoy the whole entire morning and yeah like wow <laughs> i'm really happy about that anywho's i hope you enjoyed the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye